In this video, you're going to learn how to edit a YouTube skippable ad. Hey everybody, my name is Kelsey and I run a YouTube channel called Premiere Gal. I've been writing for Pond5 for the past few years on their blog and then they reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in hosting the, the social video series on their channel. And of course I said yes, so here we are. So this first episode is how to edit a YouTube ad for a mock client called Wellness. And what they want to do is market a retreat to people to book tickets. The problem with this mock client is that they they don't have any footage from the retreats because they weren't able to afford a videographer to go out there. So this is where Pond5 comes in handy. I was able to go on their website and search keyword terms such as yoga, wellness, and I was able to download music, sound effects, as well as stock video to use to build this advertisement. Now, a couple things about skippable ads. For one, they need to be at least 12 seconds in duration to work. YouTube will not accept anything less than 12 seconds in duration. Two, this ad will play before, during, or after any video on YouTube, and they'll be skippable after five seconds. Three things to also keep in mind when editing your advertisement. For one, you need to think about how do you capture your audience attention while you're editing. So is it some sort of special effect that you have in the beginning or is it some cool shot to capture their attention? And two, you need to make sure that your client's branding or your branding if you're editing it in house is clear in the video. And three, you need to have a clear call to action. So I've put all of the media that I downloaded from Pond5 into a collection, which is linked in the description box below. So if you guys wanna follow along throughout this tutorial, you can certainly download the watermarked versions. Now I'm using Premiere Pro in this tutorial, but certainly everything that I cover is applicable to any other non-linear editing system. So let's go ahead and jump in. In my Premiere Pro project panel, I've already imported all the media from Pond5 that I will be using. Quick tip. In Premiere Pro, you can use the Pond5 Premiere Pro panel to select footage and download watermark versions to test in your timeline before you decide to buy. It's a free add-on which can be downloaded from Pond5. I've already placed each video clip and all the audio clips I'm using in the timeline. The audio in this ad is very important because we're promoting a retreat. We want to use sound to capture the environmental sounds of the experience of the retreat. So let's start with editing sound. Let's play it back so you can listen. It sounds good, but if you listen closely, you can hear that not all the sound is leveled. The music needs to be boosted a bit, as well as the ambience, which is the environmental sound. So to fix and level out the audio to make sure it's good, let's open up the essential sound panel by going to window and then selecting essential sound. First, let's choose music from the essential sound panel and select auto match to normalize the music track. You will see that the audio waveform gets boosted after you select auto match. Then I'll lasso and select the nature and waterfall ambience tracks from the timeline and choose ambience from the essential sound panel. And then once again, select auto match to normalize this audio. And lastly, for the singing bowl sound, I'm going to select sound effects and also auto match. Now all of the sound is leveled out. But now we need to add on-screen text because we need to help capture and guide our viewers attention. So I downloaded a minimal title pack from Pond5's After Effects templates and I edited them in After Effects and then exported each title for the video. So from this title folders, I'm going to drag my first title into the timeline. As I play it back, you can see it reads, use the next 15 seconds too. And I chose this wording on purpose to underscore the viewer situation. We all know that people on YouTube, they don't want to watch an ad, they just want to skip. But if we entice them to use the next 15 seconds, which isn't much time, maybe they won't skip. And really it's all a play on psychology. So next I made three separate titles for the next three clips. So let me just go ahead and drag and drop each title on to the corresponding clip in the timeline. 
Now you can see it reads, use the next 15 seconds to breathe, to listen, and be still. And lastly, let's drop in our logo reveal and call to action title, which has the logo of the mock company wellness that we're promoting. And the call to action is to book a retreat. So now we're done with this video and now we need to export. So we go up to file, export media. And from this new window, just make sure to have the H.264 format selected. And then from the preset dropdown, make sure to choose YouTube 1080p HD and then export. And once the video is exported, you'll upload it to the YouTube channel. It can be unlisted or public. And then you're going to select on the three dots and select promote. And from that, it'll initiate your Google ad setup process. In order to make sure that this video ad performs well, I would highly recommend taking a Google ads fundamental course. It'll make everything so much easier when you're beginning setting up your ad in terms of the budget and who your target audience is. So I'll put a link to this free course in the description box below. And that's all for this video. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to cut down the ad that we crafted into a six second YouTube bumper ad. So that's coming up next. Again, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.